it's me, Charles. And, uh, as you can tell, uh, we're all in quarantine. It's not fun. I was just taking part in a sleep study earlier this year from January till the end of March. Uh, those college kids, they really put me under. I think, uh, one of the anesthesiologists, uh, gave me about triple the dose. So, I was asleep much longer, just stuck in my dreams and my nightmares. But, uh, when I woke up, I found something much worse. <laughs> I'm sure we're all wondering, how are we supposed to handle this toilet paper crisis? <laughs> so I wanted to share with you some of the alternatives I've found. The first one I tried was parchment paper. This stuff is basically like sandpaper to your butthole, so <laughs> prepare for all the poop to be gone along with most of the skin. All right, another option I tried was Lysol wipes. If you want to know what it's like to have herpes, then give these a try because your whole butt will be on fire. I looked in my mom's room and I happened to found these. I'm not really sure what these are supposed to be. It looks like uh, diapers or something, but uh, you know, if you stick it onto the butt, then maybe you can just uh, poop into it. Ho ho ho. But Charles, you might ask, what if I don't have those options? Well, you have faced the wilderness question and there's only one solution. That is using your 10 digis. That's right. Now make sure you get good wipes on each finger because there's no double dipping. Oh my gosh, poop all over my hands. <laughs> well, this is the kind of state we're in. There are four simple steps on how to wash your hands cleanly so you don't spread the coronavirus and get your poop all over your house. Step one is to turn on the sink with your mouth. That way your poop particles aren't getting all over your handles. All right, then we're gonna get in here and... Now again, I don't wanna feel this water. It could be too hot. So I'm just gonna use my tongue to dab it and feel when the temperature's right. Ah, ah. Okay, that's way too hot. I'm gonna need some cold water now. Oh. Ah. Alright, now we got nice temperature. Okay, let's start washing. So, we don't want to be spreading our germs all over our hands now. So that's why I have some Q-tips here. And you'll lightly take some of the water and just run right over it. Now, see, we're not getting our germs anywhere else on our hands. Okay. Just wiping right up. And as soon as this is done, we'll just put it on the counter. We'll get, we'll clean that up later. And uh, next thing you know, we'll be all clean. Wing! Oh, all nice and done. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Now, for the most part, your hands should be pretty clean. Those Q-tips do magic. But you might have some germs stuck underneath your nails there. So that's why we're going to use our teeth to get underneath. You want to get out all of them. Do not spread the germs. Okay, now that our hands are nice and washed, you need to find a small child or animal to wipe your hands off. All right, good dog. Yep, yeah, all right. Nice and dry. Again, we don't want to spread the germs on the towels. So we'll just use the dog. And voila, you have cleaned your hands. All right, kids. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you can stay safe in this uh, dangerous time. Make sure to use these tips and you'll be staying safe and healthy. And make sure you don't eat any burritos right now. <laughs> None of these steps work with diarrhea. Mostly just solid foods. Mostly cheese and uh, constipation foods.